because what we thought was maybe going to start getting better, you know, going to California and her doing a little bit better has now gone right back to getting worse. What's up, Stu Crew? Uh, we are in Nashville, getting back from California, and we're chilling with my family. We're at my nephew's baseball game right now. So we're gonna hang out here for a day and a half, then Carlin has uh, a boutique thing she's gonna stay in Nashville to do for a day or two, and I'll be heading back home. So a little bit more adventure happening after California. We'll bring you guys along, it's fun. We're like world travelers now, this is crazy. <laughs> Keep you guys updated, see you in a minute. Subway after the boys baseball game and Carlin came in from the car and was going to tell me what she wanted thought she's doing fine she stands in line right behind me and she starts to fall so I turn around to try and grab her from the front there's a man behind her that helps catch her and she was not 100% unconscious but it was like a mix between her dizziness and her passing out she was dizzy and fell and pretty much passed out I don't know what she says it's a reset button she always laughs about it afterwards she laughs like it was no big deal and we're all sitting here freaking out so i don't know what we're gonna do you feeling better i'm annoyed it wasn't like a pass out it was like well the guy behind her that caught her head might think i guess i'm gonna have to start <laughs> you scared that I man thought it then. was some. I didn't know he was. I didn't even know there was a man there. Well, he caught your head <laughs> from hitting the back of the wall. So I guess you just saw that phone footage I filmed in Subway. Uh, well, we got back to my family's house, and I was literally holding Carlin on the way in because I could tell she's still just been um, a little more out of it since then. And even with me holding her she literally still fell and like she started to pull me because I was carrying the diaper bag as well I guess in my hand I don't know and uh, and so she 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 passed out again she fell right there in the driveway when we got back to my family's house um, so I'm starting to get really scared now because she makes it a couple days in California doing well and we think okay this is good um, she did get kind of dizzy in some of the airports but she was able to fight it sit down and rest a little bit um, but now here today, she's literally falling again, like passing out completely and it's just starting to freak me out because we don't know what to do. I, I could take her to a Nashville hospital, ER or something, but they're going to do the same thing they did at UT. And so until we, I don't know, maybe we can go see a specialist or see if the iron medication they gave her is going to help. I, I, I really don't know what the next steps are because this time she's still out of it she's laying on the bed just acting out of it and it's just starting to freak me out i don't know what to do i'm worried i'm scared so if you guys would really keep her in your prayers we would appreciate it um because what we thought was maybe going to start getting better you know going to california and her doing a little bit better has now gone right back to getting worse so just want to keep you guys updated and i'm gonna go in here see what i can do for her so uh i don't know when we'll talk to you guys again but We'll catch you later. Okay, guys. Uh, I can't remember what he vlogged last. Oh, okay. Y'all saw the nephew's little ball game. They did awesome. Evan is actually going to pick up some pizza, and the Stuarts are helping us pull off a little surprise for him. Y'all know he graduated, and he didn't really want like anything big or a big party, but we knew we had to do something. So Megan, Kaylin, Ashley, everybody's like been pulling off the coolest surprise ever. Megan went and picked up this beautiful cake, and she wrote on it. And we got cupcakes. Layla said, cake. Who's got you, Layla? Is that Papa? <laughs> Aww, Papa. Got a sign. Ready for this. Party. Let's do it. 
He's totally gonna be surprised. It's gonna be so fun. A little bit to say that we're so proud of him and he worked so hard to finally graduate. It's gonna be legit. We use light bulbs because he's an electrician. It's gonna be a lit party, guys. Okay, give us an update. They are passing Douglas right now, which <laughs> means they're about five minutes away. Touch the light bulbs. Wow, Megan like even that. wrote on your cake. I didn't know I should say journeyman. Wow, that's creative. Thank y'all. That's awesome. God, I turned and I saw everybody sitting there. I'm like, what? Did Carlin pass out again? What's going on? I think we're gonna graduate. Oh no! Forty dollars. So what? Proud of you. Thank Whoa, you. that's Love a you. that's bigger Thank than you, a birthday. Thank you, Megan. Wow, I should graduate more. Well, you don't yeah. graduate every year. Do y'all right. have an extra fifty dollars? <laughs> oh, sick! What is it? A round of golf. The card comes with it. I love how he tries to act like he doesn't see the gift. Okay, hey friends, um, so you saw that little graduation party my family and Carlin threw me. That was very sweet. I really appreciated that. But here we are actually, back at the ER. What is this, our third time in one week? Yeah, it is the third time. Um, so it's been a very bad day um, for Carlin. Uh, she's passed out like three different times, two of which she completely fell. The third one she probably would have, but she was sitting down. Um, but after a while, she starts to feel back to normal. So she's telling me, she's like, I don't think we need to go anywhere. I don't, I feel fine. So we don't know what to do, but here we are back at the ER. We've been talking to some uh, family friend doctors and they said it just doesn't make sense because before we went to Cali, her hemoglobin levels were going back up. So they said it should not have anything to do with her iron. Her iron wasn't even insanely low to be causing this much like passing out is what they were saying. So they said it's got to be something else. So they suggested we do get to the ER um, to see if they can run some deeper tests because, I mean, obviously the doctors don't know just by, you know, hearing the symptoms, but they said it, it could be a brain aneurysm. It could be bleeding. It could be blood clots. It could be some really scary stuff. And obviously we just want to praying that's not the case but we just want to get to the bottom of it so if you guys have been keeping up on our last couple of videos or whatnot we went to the ER in Knoxville at UT we went to the one near my hometown um, to check her levels before we flew out to Cali and then now we're at a hospital in the heart of Knoxville that's supposed to be a really good one um, heart of Nashville oh yeah heart of Nashville um, and we do have Zaid with us just because Carlin's nursing him. She does not have her pump with her on this trip. And so we felt like that was the best uh, thing to do for him and for Carlin. Um, but Layla is at home with my family. So we are going to head on in. And uh, honestly, it scares me for Carlin even to get out of the car. It's been that bad today. Three different times and two of them she's fallen straight to the floor. It's just been a crazy, scary day. And... Uh, it scares me thinking she could just do that at home holding Zayd or whatnot. So we've got to figure something out for her and we got to get to the bottom of it. So just keep us in your prayers. So we're going to go in here and uh, Carlin got Zayd right there. We're about to head in. She still doesn't, she still looks out of it. Her head has been hurting her and stuff today after all of that. And uh, we're just praying they can get to the bottom of it. So keep you updated. Okay, friends, so we got here at 9.30. It is now 1.11, going on four hours. Party time. Uh, the good thing is we just got back in the room like 10, 15 minutes ago, and they've already sent the doctor in. We've talked to him, so the good thing is they're kind of moving fast now. 
um, but he does want to do an MRI, so I don't know how long that'll take. So probably nestled in for the night, but um, how are you feeling? I feel fine. It's just, I mean, I feel a little dizzy. Yeah. A little headache in the back of my like neck and head, but I'm just I'm just getting frustrated because I feel like we're not pinpointing what it is because they've now ruled out it being like my hemoglobin the levels are fine. Yeah, they said her so blood levels came back out. like really good. Like he said, electrolytes, everything looked really good. So he said it's definitely not like anemic or anything like that. So. I just don't know what our plans are going to be this week. Well, we've already decided we, they've canceled the little boutique work trip they were going to be doing. Um, but she obviously can't be alone. She can't drive. I don't want her staying alone with Zade. So if we go home, it's either she's got to figure out if one of her family members could stay with her like at all times, or if not, um, we're talking about leaving her here with my family and me head back and work this week. I know, and I hate it, but I just took off for California, so I don't really need to take off. So, I mean, obviously, if it's an emergency, if she needs surgery or something, yeah, I'll take off work, but um, if we have some family that can stay with her, then it'd be best for me to go back to work. So, I don't know, we're trying to figure all that out, but. I know. I know, baby. Hey, He's wide awake now. <laughs> See you when you get back. Yeah. Love you. Carla's back from the MRI, and they've actually already got the results. <laughs> Praise the Lord, it's nothing big on that end. They said it doesn't look like there's any brain aneurysms. Nothing came back bad on the MRI, which is a good thing. But then Carla's like, it's almost a bad thing too, because she wants to know what's going on. Um, I think they said the next step is giving her some type of heart monitor to wear for like, what, three full days or something like that? Yeah, and then they'll send it off and see if they can catch something like that. Yeah. So we're still kind of back at square one, trying to figure out what's happening. Like if it just happened that one time, it'd be like a fluke thing. Yeah. Like it happened again today, and then... But it's not her levels, and it's not any of the big tests. So, so far, that's a chest x-ray, a CT scan, and an MRI. And I think they said it was like, they also did like an MRV or something. Yeah, no. Something like that. Something with the out. veins and the blood. I just got they ruled out the super scary day yeah, or stuff, Yeah, exactly. Guess. Praise the Lord. It's now 3.31 a.m. now. We got here at 9.30, so that's six hours in the ER tonight. We're just making a habit of this. Yeah, Three it's our nightly routine. Out. It's fun. It's where we come to hang out. Looks like um, the cardiologist person, whatever here at the hospital, just set me up with this like heart monitor thing over the next week um, to like log everything and then send it back so they can see what my heart's doing when these episodes are happening. But other than that, they're going to send us home. See if we can figure out the rest of yeah. what's happening. Maybe it has something to do with my heart. I don't know. Yeah. So, I mean, they're pretty much acting like, I guess, unless it's an emergency and we're just worried about her, they're acting like there's almost nothing we can do for two to three weeks while we wait on these results. Yeah. Because they've ran, like, all the big tests here in the ER and haven't found anything. They're just trying to rule out things, I guess, yeah. one by one. And it's kind of frustrating in the moment, but I know, like, Things like this take time to actually figure out what's happening. So we're loading up and we're gonna get discharge papers and head out. Maybe it's a fluke thing again. Three strikes and I'm be, out. Maybe from just pregnancy. Maybe, just... yeah, they're saying maybe pregnancy is just really hard on my body. I don't know. Anyway, so this is where we're at. That'll update from us. We're gonna head home now that it's almost. 4 a.m. 4 a.m. We're gonna get in bed late. But I guess we'll update y'all when we figure out our plans for the rest of this week because we're, we're trying to decide what's the best option, what I need to do, and with work and Evan and kids. So, yeah. Hey, friends. Um, I don't think we pulled the camera out in like two days. Um, Pretty so much I've after, been on the couch in the bed. So yeah. That's why. <laughs> after the big uh, ER experience uh, early Sunday morning. So they put a heart monitor on her. 
So we've mainly been resting for like two days at my family's house. I decided to take off a few days so that I could be with Carlin. My family's helping with the kids. Um, and then we're gonna go back to Knoxville. I'll probably still try and work a couple days this week based on how Carlin's feeling because she's actually done really good. Um, so we've been here in Nashville the last two days. She has been able to sleep and rest a lot. She hasn't had any, she's had a few dizzy spells when she stands up too quick, but nothing super serious. Um, right now we're kind of getting out. <laughs> Believe it or not, my nephew has another baseball game. We filmed a lot of baseball games lately. Um, so we came to this because they're wanting her to kind of live normal life with this heart monitor so that if something does happen, it can at least track it and record it. Yeah. So I have a follow up with a cardiologist when we get back. Yeah. And honestly, truth be told, I don't think it has to do with a heart. I, th I just think it's something else. We've got a lot of different, I guess, stories from you guys on um, comments and messages. So honestly, I mean, some of the things that you are saying seem very like a couple things was one y'all said maybe it's just exhaustion and sleeping it'll go away like after postpartum and I was like well maybe so so that's why I've been sleeping so much but one of the other common things y'all mentioned was like the silent seizures so we're gonna get that checked and see if that's it too but those were the two big things that y'all are like all your symptoms match this and obviously we've been googling them and it does so maybe <laughs> that's it or maybe it'll go away on its own well I've that's the thing two full strong days yeah Without With anything headaches, super bad headed, happening. dizziness, like yeah. I don't feel normal, but I'm not passing out. Well, that's the thing. It's very anticlimactic, but they did say there's a chance it could be from pregnancy and from anxiety and from lack of sleep and stress. So her resting these couple days, I mean, it seems like it's helped her, but we just yeah. never know. So we got the heart running around the rest of this week. We're thinking we can go home tomorrow. I might try and work uh, Thursday and Friday, see if we can get some of her family to stay with her for those days while I'm at work. And uh, try and get back to a little bit normal life while still watching her. Yeah. I still don't want her driving. I still want people around the kids. So we're trying to play it safe, but maybe it'll just go back to normal slowly. We don't know, we're praying, so. Maybe. Just wanted to update you guys because we haven't pulled the camera out. So we'll probably be heading home tomorrow, but we're still in Nashville at the moment. Uh, just enjoying life, enjoying the slow days. Thankful that everything has been good so far and nothing has seriously gone wrong. And just know like we don't take it lightly for each and every one of you that have taken the time to like tell us you're praying for us or um, telling us your stories of similar oh, yeah. things happening to you and trying to help us, you know, figure out what's happening. It really means so much, and I really appreciate it. Maybe all your prayers are helping it go away. I don't know, but we're, we're thankful for that, so I appreciate it. Say, I'm all ready for a ball game. You ready to go? Ball game. Ball game. Ball game. All right, I love you. Can I kiss? Say, let's go. Let's go. Okay, we're at the baseball game, and Carlin just passed out again, and she's been good for two days. So I don't know if just getting back out and doing a little bit of daily life makes it worse, but this one was pretty scary. Almost like it was kind of that day at the boutique. She had a little bit more seizure-like symptoms. And um, so I'm about to head out with her. Um, and we're gonna go to the hospital and run some more tests. Maybe an EEG they're saying to see something with seizures. So we're trying to figure it out. I feel like it was definitely the Lord's will that we stayed in Nashville for now. I'm just sitting here thinking what would I have done if we were at home alone with two kids. I mean, I know I could have done it. I could have brought the kids or one of Carlin's family would have come over, but um, that was so nice just having everybody right there. My family's watching our kids. I left them my car with the car seats. I drove one of their cars to the hospital and we're here now. They're unloading Carlin and I'm supposed to head into the front. Um, I'm just freaking out right now because we've done like every test we can. I think we haven't done an EEG and that's what one of the um, EMTs were recommending because she said it looked a lot like a seizure even though she wasn't really shaking but they know more than me. They said something with her eyes looked that way so just praying they find something out and uh, we're going to head back into the ER for the fourth time. I'm just making a habit of this I guess. Or I, weekly date night. I know. I literally thought I was like, maybe sleep was it, and now I'm like, I'm fine. Yeah, because this was a little bit worse. Oh, I just felt like this time I felt like it was really scary. Like, 
my hands, arms, my face almost went numb. Like my lips were like shaking. Yeah, they were thinking seizure, the EMTs. It was like, it was weird. And then all of a sudden, I was like in and out, in and out, and then in the air, in the in, in, amb ambulance. I like sort of like, I mean, my whole body shaking uncontrolled. Again. Yeah. Like my leg, my head, oh, like banging, and they're like strapping me down. It was so scary. And then they started poking me everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> but they gave me something, and it almost made my muscles and stuff relax. They said it was for like seizures or something. So this is the best I've felt, like within like 30 minutes after it happened. Because mm -hmm. normally I'm like, I'm like wiped out for four, yeah. six hours. I just lay there and want to sleep. Yeah. But I don't know. I remember saying, "Don't let them take me in," <laughs> and you let them take me in, didn't you? Yeah. I said, "No, I've been here three times. <laughs> They're gonna think I'm faking. They're gonna think I'm a liar. Like I feel like I'm just a joke now. I keep coming to the air airplane. Air. Keep coming to the ER." <laughs> <laughs> I'm struggling. It's okay, babe. I'm just glad I wasn't holding date or anything.